All right, so this is part two, man. You know what I mean? Your coach trying to kill you. And it's sad. It's sad, right? The reason why I'm just like, I, I done had it up to, I've already been kind of had, had it up to here, but I had a consultation with someone um, a couple of weeks ago, and I told them that I was going to wait a few weeks so that, you know, just in case their coach, because their coach probably watching, you know, I don't want you know, I don't want them to have any issues and stuff like that. But I told them straight up, you know what I'm saying? Because they they shared with me the meal plan that they was on. And it was ridiculous. There was no total calorie count. There was no macronutrient count on there. You know what I mean? There was, you know, inaccurate um, measurements. And what I mean by that, you know, they still putting a hey, take a cup of this and a half a cup of that and a tablespoon and a taste teaspoon of this the problem with putting um trying to measure things out in cups is you don't know whether or not you're supposed to stuff the cup or you know uh you know level the cup off and so on and so forth you know what i mean T telling people one scoop of protein like all proteins have different macronutrient contents like why why are you coaches why are you coaches doing this to people? You know what I'm saying? And why I'm so frustrated is because your client end up coming to me uh uh to get their blood work done and they wondering why their hormones are all jacked up is because you you the coach is being negligent and refuse just to like take a simple a simple macronutrient uh class. There is tons and tons of videos thousands of videos on youtube that will teach you how to track macros i don't understand this mess every individual is different i've coached twins before and they both had two different like identical twins i've coached them before and they have two different basal metabolic rates you can't give the same plan to everybody you know what i'm saying you can't just make up in your head because of the common stuff that people use in bodybuilding like this is 2023 you can't keep being so negligent and not care about the athletes not care about the individual because bodybuilding technically is an unhealthy process it's an unhealthy process. Why? It's because you're in a caloric deficit for a long period of time. You're doing amounts and amounts and amounts of cardio. You have to lift weights on top of that. You get what I'm saying? Then you're not getting adequate sleep. You're not getting adequate rest with some people. You coaches need to start taking this stuff serious. You need to take it serious. And then this is the crazy thing. All the rinky D coaches, they make all the money. They make all the money. You know what I'm saying? I post an educational video and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll get all my educational folks to comment and stuff like that, right? They're, they're commenting and share. But but everybody else, you know, that's tearing people's bodies apart from the inside out, they make all the money. And it's ridiculous, man. So I'm, I'm going to stop being so quiet. I'm going to stop being so quiet. And every meal plan that I get, you're going to get put on blast. Unless, unless the individual asks me not to put it out there. But you guys got to stop that. You coaches, y'all got to stop being so negligent, taking these people money, and, and you're not caring about their health. And to all the people out there, if anything that I said in that last video and this video sounds familiar, you need to fire that coach. Fire them. Because your health. In the long run, you're going to be spending more money. You're going to be spending more money. It's like the Rinky D coach. They inadvertently in cahoots with a lot of these doctors that be just trying to put you all on medication. You know what I'm saying? And I just needed to get that off my chest. So this is a raw and uncut part two.